Welcome to Ryan's World Airport. There are strict rules here. Rule number one, no playing around. Oh, easy enough. Rule number two, do not drink anything. No water. Rule number three, no running. Do not run anywhere. Okay, I won't run. All right, follow me. Check in the baggage, please. Okay. Put any electronics in this tray, like such as iPad, phone, anything. Okay, got my iPad here. Okay, thank you. Oh, don't forget your shoes. Okay. Here you go. Mm -hmm. And here you go. Thank you. All right, everything looks good. All right, let's turn on this scanner. Alright, those two things are okay. Alright, let's do the uh, suitcase. Okay, put it like this, nice and secure. Alright. Alright. Turn it on. Okay. Mm-hmm. Going in. Mm-hmm. Guys! Did you hear that sound? I better check his suitcase. Oh no! I'm pretty sure I didn't bring anything that I wasn't supposed to. Security! Security! But I didn't do anything! And nobody's here! Oh, he's coming. There he is. Hello, I'm the security officer here. What seems to be the problem? Suitcase? Let's take a look. Where did he come from? And where did the other guy go? Oh, sir, please step forward. Okay. No talking. Mm. May I check your luggage, sir? Yes. Okay. Let's see what you got inside. <gasps> How thirsty are you? I see no drinks inside the suitcase. Oh, and there's so many. All right, I'll just keep these for me to drink later. Um, there's so many. No, no, that's my drinks. What if I get thirsty on this road trip? Fine, you can keep one. Here you go, sir. What? Only one? I brought. Nine more! Alright, rules are the rule. Alright, now you may go. Finally I can continue. Whoa, 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 hold there, sir! What now? And how did you even get there? Walk slowly, please. Step aside. Okay, let me check. Let me turn on this metal detector. Hey, you're clear. You can go forward. Finally, I can continue. Next! Okay, uh... Passport. Uh, Ticket. Oh. Passport. Oh, here. Here you go. Hmm. Huh? Your hat. American? Yep. I seen? No, for business. Business? How many days? Hopefully just one day. Oh. Next! Next! Ooh, that security was tough. Well, we made it in Paris. And it's the capital of France. Oh, welcome to Paris. I'm the Eiffel Tower. Oh, I didn't know Eiffel Towers could talk. Someone put a magical spell on me. Oh, do you know what I am made of? No, what are you made of? Here's a hint. Uh, name something that is magnetic. Iron? Magnifique. Now, what are you here for, Ryan? Croissants? <laughs> so Robo Combo has stolen five gyms. Have you seen any of them? Oh, I think I have one eating inside of me. But you must complete my challenge first. <laughs> oui, oui. Okay, what is it? Well, you must create a mini Eiffel Tower out of building blocks. Yeah! You have one minute, my friend Ryan. Start! Okay, uh, uh... Uh, first I should do this, and then put this here, and then do this, and then put 
this here, and then, oh, you fell down. Uh, uh, use this, and then put another one here, and uh, pop, pop, pop. Okay, one right here, and then one right here. And then I need to connect them together, so like this. Keep going up. Eiffel Tower. Whoa! -ho -ho. Good job, Ryan. He looks just like me. Okay, where's my gym? I will teleport it to your end right away. Okay. Thank you, Eiffel Tower. But why is your name Eiffel Tower? Is that because you fell? I never fell before! My name comes from Gustav Eiffel. His design company designed and built me. But why did he build you? I was built to be shown in Paris at the World's Fair in 1889. Oh, that's so cool! Well, we got one gin, four more to go. Let's go find more gin. Au revoir, Ryan! Safe travels! in China, look! Let's go find Jim in China. Guys, I'm definitely in China because I see a panda bear, a dragon, and a pagoda temple. That's right, Ryan. I'm the pagoda tower. You can tell because of my multiple levels. One, two, three, four, and five. We aren't just in China, we're also in Japan, Korea, Vietnam, and many more places. Yum 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 yum. I hear someone nearby. Wait, are you Combo Panda's cousin? Combo who? I'm just trying to enjoy some of these fresh bamboo leaves. Mmm. Well, he's my friend, but have you seen any gyms lying around here? Oh. I think I know the gym you speak of. Yum yum yum. I bumped into it while looking for these tasty bamboo leaves. Yum yum yum. You can have it if you complete my challenge. What challenge? Well, the Chinese New Year Festival is coming up and I'm so excited to see the dragon dance. If you can do the dragon dance for me, I will give you this gym. Okay, so like this? Can I have the gym? No. <laughs> you may want to consult the dragon for some dance lessons. Oh, um, hi. How can I help you? Hi, Mr. Dragon. You're so long and tall. Can you teach me how to do the dragon dance? Sure, Ryan. I'm in a good mood, too, because of the Chinese New Year Festival coming up. Try using the dragon puppet. They can help you practice your dragon dance. Puppet dragon dance time! If you keep practicing for 10 years, then perhaps I can teach you the true dragon dance. All right, Panda, what do you think? Can I have the gym now? Yum, yum, yum. Okay, here you go. Okay. A red gym for good luck. Yay! I hope you enjoy your adventure, Ryan. Don't forget to visit the Great Wall of China next time. The Great Wall of China? That sounds cool. Where is it? Did you know the Great Wall of China goes through Beijing and many other cities too? It's more than 13,000 miles long and it's also over 2,300 years old. Whoa, that is old. It's so amazing that it's still standing. Well, I'm gonna go now, bye. And I'm gonna visit it next time. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious bamboo leaves. Oh, I could eat these all day. They're so good. In fact, I have to eat 20 to 40 pounds of bamboo leaves every day because they have lots of fiber and fiber is yummy. I think I'm in Japan because look at this beautiful koi fish pond. Hi, konnichiwa. My name is Ryan. 
こんにちは、ライアンさん。Welcome to Japanese Temple! Whoa! Actually, I need your help! You see these koi fish? Yeah? There are four koi fish missing! I think they're playing hide and seek. You know, koi fish are very intelligent fish. Okay, I'll find them for you. But in return, can I get the gym? Because Peck told me that there's a gym in this Japanese temple. Okay, deal! I was a koi fish. Where would I be? Oh, wait! There he is! Hi there, Ryan. I'm gonna take you back to your koi fish pond now. <laughs> Here's another koi fish. I'm gonna bring you back to your koi pond. Wait a minute. I hear more splashing sounds. There's another one. I'll bring you back too. All right, here's the fourth koi fish. Now let's bring them back to their pond. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Okay, I got your koi fish now. Have you found the gym in the temple? Yep, while you're looking for koi fish, I found this gym. Thank you, Ryan. There you go, you can have it. Whoa, this is exactly what I was looking for. Arigato! Do it s h i m a s h i t e Next time you come to Japan, don't forget to visit Fuji Mountain. It's the tallest mountain in Japan. <gasps> okay! Alright, good luck to your journey. Bye! Bye! I'm gonna go to the next place. Hey guys, we're here in Egypt. And how I can tell is because. Here is the Egyptian pyramid. So the gym must be somewhere around here. Hey, pyramid, have you seen a gym?、Mm, oh, yes. Somebody by the name of Robo Combo was just here and left it hidden somewhere. Okay, thank you, Egyptian pyramids, but what are inside the Egyptian pyramids? Good question. Egyptian pyramids were used as tombs for the ancient pharaohs and queens of Egypt. Pharaohs? That sounds cool. Wait. Pharaohs? What are pharaohs? Pharaohs were the rulers of ancient Egypt. Is this a mummified pharaoh? Let me check it out. Hi! I'm like a mummified Ryan pharaoh. Who is one of the most famous pharaohs? The most famous pharaoh was King Tutankhamun, also known as King Tut. He was only nine years old when he became pharaoh. He reigned for ten years. He was the most well known because of how well preserved his tomb was. King Tuck was only nine years old whenever he became a pharaoh? That's amazing! I'm nine years old right now! Oh, I think I found the gym, Ryan. You can have it if you beat me in a challenge. Okay, what's the challenge? You have to do the classic mummy walk. Challenge accepted. Let's go! Put your hands out,、okay. hold still. There we go! Alright, Ryan, your job is to walk across the room without dropping the blocks. Okay. 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 Okay, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Okay. 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 Did it! Yay! I did it! Congratulations, Ryan! For completing the mummy walk. Put out your hand and receive your prize. Okay. Zing. Yay! Thank you for stopping by Egypt. Good luck, Ryan. Okay, bye. I'm gonna go find the other gyms now. Okay, guys, this is our last stop. It's London, the capital of England. It's a giant clock tower. Hey, who are you calling a clock tower? I have a name, you know. My nickname is Big Ben. Well, if that's your nickname, then what is your real name, clock tower? Hey! You can call me Elizabeth Tower, named after Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of the United Kingdom. And don't call me a clock tower, Big Ben will do nicely. Okay, Elizabeth Tower or Big Ben Tower or Clock Tower. Well, can you tell me how to find the gym, please? Sure, I happen to have the last gym, but 
it. You have to pass my test. Okay, then what is it? Well, since I am a clock tower, can you show time using only your arms? Okay. Time number one. Show me five o'clock. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five o'clock. Excellent job. Time number two. Try nine o'clock. Okay. Nine. Splendid job, Ryan. Are you ready for the ultimate challenge? Yes. Can you tell what time I'm showing and can you do it with your arms? 10.50. Okay, let's see. Is this good? Mm, close enough. Open your hands, please. Yay, the last crystal. I hope that helps. Cheerio, Ryan. Bye, Clock Tower. I mean, bye, Elizabeth Tower. Big Ben works too, you know. Hey, guys, I'm back in the United States, and I know because this is the Statue of Liberty. Hi there, Ryan. I am the Statue of Liberty. Welcome to Liberty Island in New York. I have a very important question to ask you. What is it? I heard you're made out of copper, like a penny. But why are you green? Did they use paint? Good question, Ryan. I am made from copper. And the reason why I am green is because over time, water and air turn copper green. That's cool. Wait, over time? How long ago were you built? Another good question. Did you know that I was first made in France? And the French gave me to America as a gift. It took nine years to build me, and they finished my construction in 1885. Wow, you look good for someone so old. And also, do you ever get tired of holding your hand up like this? And what are you holding? I am holding a torch, which stands for liberty and freedom. And a book that says July 4th, 1776. So Ryan, I have a challenge. How long can you hold the Statue of Liberty pose? Challenge accepted. Okay, well, I don't have a torch, but I found this. Okay, three, two, one, start. Five seconds. You are doing great, Ryan, but let's see how long you can hold the pose. Super long time. Sometimes I take a nap in this pose. Just a little more. A super long while later. All right, and... <laughs> that was great. How much time was that? You held the torch up for a long time. Okay, Statue of Livery, I better go now. I gotta return the gems. Bye! Goodbye, Ryan. Be careful with those gems. Yeah, I'm gonna return them. Okay, guys, I'm gonna return the gems now. Hey, guys, you probably know that I live in the United States of America. Yeah! And there are lots of animals that live here now, like the zebra <laughs> and bear. Earth to Ryan! Earth to Ryan! Yeah, Spock? We have a huge problem. What's wrong? So, what had happened was, I was taking a little road trip around the world to study different animals, and I accidentally zapped some of the animals and turned them into cardboard with my latest invention. The cardboard zapper 10,000. What? Yeah, and well, it gets worse. I pressed the wrong button, and now those cardboard animals are scattered throughout your house. They're what? Yeah, sorry about that, Ryan. Would you mind sending each of them back home to where they came from? Okay, Peck. Great. I've created an app to send them home. All you have to do is open the app and scan each animal. It will tell you where each come from and then click on the right map to send them home. Okay, guys. Time to track down some animals. Hmm. Wait a minute. What is that? What animal is that? It kind of looks like an apple. Hmm. Apple animal? A animal? Whoa, it's an elephant! Okay guys, it's time to scan the animals. Where did this elephant come from? Elephant. Elephant.
elephants are mammals that are scattered throughout Sub-Saharan Africa, South Asia, and Southeast Asia. This one is specifically from Africa. Did you know that elephants are the world's largest land animal? They spend between 12 to 18 hours eating grass, plants, and fruits every single day. An elephant's tusks are actually teeth. So this elephant came from Sub-Saharan Africa. Where are you, Africa? Okay, not here, not the United States, not Australia, not Canada, not China. There you go. Africa! Let's the bald eagle. Eagle. Eagles are predatory birds that can be found in Africa, Asia, North America, and Central and South America. This specific eagle is from the United States. Did you know an eagle's grip is eight times stronger than a human's? There are over 60 species of eagles. Okay, he lives in the United States of America. That's where I live. Okay, no, this is Netherlands. There you go, United States of America. <laughs> yes, another animal home. Wait a minute. I hear some rumbling behind me. Who's in here? Maybe they want a snack. It's a kangaroo and it's baby Joey. There's no food for you guys in here. Let's send you home. Go to home! Where do kangaroos come from? Well, let's find out. Kangaroo. A kangaroo is a marsupial that can be found in Australia and New Guinea. This kangaroo lives in Australia. Did you know that female kangaroos have a pouch that cradle their babies called joeys? They can leap more than nine meters in a single mound. Kangaroos are herbivores and like to chew on grasses, herbs, and shrubs. So this kangaroo came from Australia. Okay, bye kangaroo. <laughs> Hey, let's find some more animals. But it's getting awfully cold. No wonder why, there's a polar bear. Okay, Mr. Polar Bear, let's see where you came from. Polar bear. Polar bears are marine mammals that live throughout the Arctic region. They can be found in Canada, Alaska, Greenland, Russia, and Norway. However, this polar bear lives in Canada. Did you know that a polar bear's skin is actually black, not white? They have a thick layer of fat called blubber that keeps them warm. Polar bears are very strong swimmers. In fact, they can swim for several hours at a time. Oh, so this polar bear came from Canada. That's cool. Well, hi Canadians if you're watching. Okay, let's bring it back now. Okay, so Peck told me there should be one more animal around the house. Wait, is that the animal? I smell bamboo. Is this Combo Panda? Combo Panda, Combo Panda, are you okay? Oh, never mind, it's not Combo Panda. Maybe it's Combo Panda's cousin. Hmm, I wonder where he comes from. Let's check. Okay, let's scan the panda. Panda. Pandas can be found in the mountain ranges of China, which is where this one lives. Did you know that pandas spend most of their life eating bamboo? They eat consistently for 12 to 14 hours a day. Pandas are also great climbers. This panda is from China. Okay, panda, go back to your home now. Bam. Yeah. 
Okay, Prep, I bring all the animals home. Good job, Ryan. Why? Oh, I'm afraid there's some bad news. There's actually 200 more cardboard animals around your neighborhood. There's what? Yeah, so can you go around your neighborhood and send those animals back home too? Okay, guys, I'm gonna fix Peck's mistake. Guys, I can't believe it's almost Christmas. Ho, ho, ho! Wait a minute. Santa? Ho, 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 Ryan! What are you doing in my house, Santa? Well, I have this new North Pole Hotel opening up. I was wondering if you could check it out and review it. Sure. Since it's made by Santa, it must be great. Of course. Ho, ho, ho. I'm sending you to the North Pole right now. Wait, what? Oh, gosh. I hope Ryan has a fun time at the North Pole. Mm-hmm. Maybe I should have warned him about the polar bears. Oops. Whoa, what is this place? It looks so cool. Oh, hello. Welcome to North Pole Hotel. I'm the manager here, Sean. How are you doing today? Santa told me to test his hotel. He said it's the best one in the North Pole. Yeah, that's true. We did get five star on a whelp. So yeah, that's true. You wanna take a look? One room, please, and the only room. You know what? We're fully booked until 2022, but you know what? Let me check. Oh, we did get one cancellation today. So you know what? Yes, you can. What? Why did somebody cancel? <laughs> Never mind about that. You know, it just. You know, uh, here, go here. Here's your room. Here's your room. So cool! There's even a fireplace! Look, I can make s'mores! Mmm, ah, 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 ah. it's good! Oh, by the way, did I mention to watch out for polar bears? Polar bears? <laughs> Never mind, I forgot about it. No, don't, don't worry about it. Did you know that your cabin is made out of a gingerbread? That means it's weak! Oh, don't worry, I baked it extra crispy. Okay. Oh, I hope there's not any polar bears. <laughs> what was that? Tell the manager about this. A manager, did you know you have a mouse problem? A manager, did you know you have a mouse problem? Haha, <laughs> very cute. Uh -huh. Hey, stop copying me. <laughs> Mr. Ryan, so here you signed a waiver here to agree. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, here, Mr. Ryan, you signed a waiver to stay with this annoying hamster or rat the whole night, so you have to stay. I did? <laughs> you should check when you sign. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ugh, the hamster is annoying. Hey, stop it. Uh, I'm getting awfully hungry. I think I need to speak to the manager again. Manager, manager, I'm hungry! Hello, yes, hi, Mr. Ryan. You hungry? All right, I'll order some room service. We're Let's right see. over here, you don't have to use that. No, I like it, keep it official, all right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, thank you, Mr. Ryan. A <laughs> North Pole Hotel, I'm also a chef, too. Let's see, so Ryan wants something to eat, right? Uh, here's a plate. Got so many different varieties of food, like pumpkin. Right? And what is oh, pretzel? Oh yeah. First, I gotta heat it up. Right? I can't serve him as is. Can sizzle. Uh. Are you done yet? Are you done yet? It's almost done. Just wait. Are you done yet? Okay, got the pumpkin. And ooh, pretzel is blazing hot too. Here. Done. Okay. All right, enjoy. Oh. <laughs> ah, 
Too spicy! It's it's North Polean style, okay? North Polean? What is that? It's North Polean food. Oh, this is hot! What? Isn't it good? The food isn't that great, so so far it's one star, but is there any fun activities to do? Snowball fight! Okay! Snowball fight! Let's begin! Oh, snowball fight! Oh, it's bouncing back on my Yeah, I got it! I've been practicing snowball fight for years. You can't beat me! Oh! This is so fun, right? Oh! 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 That was really fun, snowball fight! Oh! Oh, yeah, it's night time. Look, it's really dark. Oh, it is dark. Okay, see you later. I better go because nighttime there's a polar bear comes up. Oh, let's go. Wait, what? I hope he was joking about polar bears. Okay, good night. How was your sleep? Not so great. I think I heard polar bears. Are you sure? You're just imagining stuff. By the way, since you completed your stay, I would like you to sign up this review sheet. Write down however you felt about this stay. We're gonna send it out to Santa so he can take a look at it. Oh, I get to write a letter to Santa? Yes, that way he knows that I'm doing a great job. What if you're not doing a great job? What did you say? Nothing, nothing. Don't look. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> I'm covering my eyes. Are you? Fine. Dear Santa. Oh, cover your ears too. Haha, <laughs> okay, okay. Dear Santa, the food was bad. What? Wait, were you listening? No, I don't hear anything. Hmm. Okay, the food was bad, but Snowball fight was fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, love Ryan. P.S. Nobody warned me about polar bears. Uh -huh. Don't say this to Santa. Okay, I'm not supposed to look at it. All right, turn them into the post. Even though you were hearing, okay. I'm just doing the blur effect right now with my hand. I can't see anything. Whoa. All right, send it to Santa. But how do I get home? We have a magical sleigh that takes you straight to your house. Whee! Hey Santa, I'm back. Was five stars, but one minus for the polar bear and one minus for the food. What? My North Pole Hotel is only a three star. Yeah? I need to speak to the ho ho hotel manager right now! Oof, I did such a good job being manager here! <laughs> oh, phone call? Must be Santa. Hello, North Pole Hotel. Oh, hi Santa. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. What, what? What? What do you mean? I don't have to come? Tomorrow? Wait, what? I don't have to come at all? Oh, what? What do you mean? I'm fired. Sorry, manager. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Remember, oh, stay happy and rise up. Bye! And remember to be good. Bye! Hey, guys, I'm planning to take a hot air balloon trip around the world. Hmm. But where should I go? Maybe the Eiffel Tower in Paris? Or maybe the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy? Hmm. Or maybe the Taj Mahal in India. Hmm, there's so many choices. I don't know where I should go. This is so hard to choose. 
Oh, hey, Ryan. Oh, hey, Combo. What are you doing there? I'm trying to decide what place I could go to in my hot air balloon trip. Well, I learned all these different places around the world in my history class. <gasps> Can you show me? Sure! Here's some of my favorite places! Okay! The Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. The Eiffel Tower is a big metal tower in the center of Paris. It was built for the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. If you want to climb to the top, you'll have to climb 704 steps. That's a lot of steps! The Great Pyramid of Giza in the Al Giza Desert, Egypt. The Great Pyramid of Giza is one of the seven wonders of the world. These pyramids were built during a time when there was no machines to lift things. That means these pyramids had to be built by hand. And it also means that there was no Roblox. If I were building these pyramids back then, I would probably be super swole. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Statue of Liberty in New York, United States. Did you know that the Statue of Liberty was made in France in 1884? It was transported in 350 pieces and shipped to New York. The statue is made out of copper, which is normally a brown color, but being outside for so long has turned it into the iconic blue-green color that it is today. The Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is a major tourist attraction in Italy that was built in 1399. The original height of the tower was 60 meters tall, or 160 feet. But since it was built on soft, unstable soil, it tends to lean over time. The lowest side at the moment is 56 meters, or 184 feet. The Great Wall of China in... Drum roll, please. China! The Great Wall of China is referred to as the Long Wall, since it is over 21,000 kilometers, or 13,000 miles long. The wall was made to protect the country from invading enemies, and it took over 2,000 years to finish building. Big Ben in London, England. Did you know that Big Ben is actually the bell of the tower, not the tower itself? The tower's name is the Elizabeth Tower since 2012 named after the current Queen of England. But originally, the tower was called the Clock Tower. Oh, original. Stonehenge in England. Stonehenge is one of the biggest mysteries of the world. Stonehenge is a collection of stones made in a circle. The mystery of Stonehenge is how it was made. Stonehenge was made around 4,000 years ago, and the stones themselves trace the movements of the moon and the sun. The Burj Khalifa in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The Burj Khalifa is the world's tallest building, standing at 828 meters, or 2,716 feet tall. The Burj Khalifa is three times as tall as the Eiffel Tower and almost twice as tall as the Empire State Building. Other than being the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa holds six other world records. The tallest freestanding structure in the world, the highest number of stories in the world, highest occupied floor in the world, the highest outdoor observation deck in the world, has the elevator with the longest travel distance in the world, and has the tallest service elevator in the world. Mount Rushmore in South Dakota, United States. Completed in 1941, Mount Rushmore stands at 1,745 meters above sea level. The presidents chosen for Mount Rushmore were chosen for their contribution, expansion, preservation, and unification of the country. George Washington being the founding father, Thomas Jefferson for signing the Louisiana Purchase and the Declaration of Independence, Theodore Roosevelt for the industrial boom of the nation, and Abraham Lincoln because he led the country through the Civil War. Easter Island Heads in Easter Island. Completely isolated in the middle of the Pacific Island, the island is 3,700 kilometers west of the coast of Chile. The first recorded visitor to the island was April 5th, 1722, which happened to be Easter. Historians still don't know how they were carved or moved to the island since there are nearly 900 statues averaging 13 feet tall and 14 times. That is one huge 
huge head. Four head? More like a five head. The Taj Mahal in Agra, India. The Taj Mahal is a mosque, a building used for public worship by Muslims, built by the Mughal emperor in memory of his wife. The Taj Mahal was constructed with materials from all over the world, and over 20,000 people were involved in moving the building's materials. The Taj Mahal may be one of the most beautiful buildings ever built, but it is slowly being damaged by acid rain and pollution. Over time, the Taj Mahal is slowly getting more yellow due to the damage. The Buckingham Palace in London, England. Buckingham Palace has been the London home of the British king or queen since 1837. While it is used by Elizabeth II, it is also used for important events, meetings, and receptions. Victoria Falls in Livingstone, Zambia. Victoria Falls is a waterfall on the Zambezi River in Southern Africa, which provides habitat for several unique species of plants and animals. It is located on the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe and is considered one of the world's largest waterfalls because of its width of 1,708 meters. Mount Fuji in Japan. Mount Fuji is an active volcano about 100 kilometers southwest of Tokyo. It is the country's tallest peak at 3,776 meters. Mount Fuji is considered one of Japan's three sacred mountains, and summits remain a popular activity today. Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Christ the Redeemer is a statue of Jesus Christ in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It was completed in 1931 and stands 30 meters or 98 feet tall and sits on an 8 meter or 26 feet pedestal on a peak that's 700 meters or 2,300 feet tall. <gasps> that is one large dude! It's so tall that it's been struck by lightning twice, leaving it damaged. But it was luckily repaired in 2014. Machu Picchu in Peru. Machu Picchu is an Incan citadel high in the Andes Mountains in Peru. Built in the 15th century, it is known for combining huge walls without normal means for the time and building mimic constellations in the sky. Its exact former use remains a mystery to this day. Niagara Falls, between Ontario, Canada and New York, United States. Niagara Falls is located on the border of Ontario, Canada and New York, USA. It is actually made up of three waterfalls called the American Falls, the Bridal Veil Falls, and the Horseshoe Falls. Together, they create the highest flow rate of any waterfall on Earth. The Grand Canyon in Arizona, United States. The Grand Canyon is a famous canyon in Arizona, USA, formed by the Colorado River. The Grand Canyon is 277 miles or 446 kilometers long, up to 18 miles or 29 kilometers wide, and over a mile or 1.83 kilometers deep. The Grand Canyon has nearly 2 billion years of Earth's geological history exposed by the Colorado River cutting through the layers of rock. The Great Barrier Reef in Australia. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef. It is made up of nearly 3,000 coral reefs and over 600 islands. It is 327,800 kilometers squared big and 2,600 kilometers long. That's just about the size of 70 million football fields. It's so big that astronauts can actually see the Great Barrier Reef from the moon. The Vatican City in Europe. The world's smallest country has a huge significance. Not only is the Catholic holy city home to the Pope, but it also houses countless pieces of prized art and many years of great history. Baroque and Renaissance art and architecture characterize Vatican City and are displayed perfectly at one of the world's largest religious buildings, St. Peter's Basilica. Okay, Ryan. So those were my top 20 landmarks that I've learned so far. Hmm, that did help, but it's so hard to decide all of them were good. You know what? I'm going to go through all of them. Bye, guys. I'm going to go in my hot air balloon now. I wonder where I'm going to go next. Okay, thank you for watching. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. Hiya, little gators. I'm eating sushi for
for the very first time in Tokyo, Japan. And that right there is the Sky Tree Tower, Tokyo's tallest building. Almost completed. This will be the tallest piece in my worldwide landmark collection. <laughs> Just go! Something doesn't seem right, little gators! Hey! That looks like Combo! But why do his eyes have a green glow? Hey, guys! Combo, someone just shrunk the Sky Tree Tower in Tokyo! And I thought I just saw you running away from this scene. Did you do this? Of course not, guys! Well, now that I think about it, your eyes don't have a green glow. Wait a second. Eyes that have a green glow? That's Robo Combo, guys! Oh, oh no! no! Robo Combo doesn't look like he's that far away. Send top secret. Aha! Got you, Robo Combo! <laughs> he's around here somewhere. I guess I have to play to win. you again! Now tell me where the Tokyo Sky Tree Tower is! What if I don't want to tell you? Mission successful! I have shrunk the Tokyo Sky Tree Tower and turned it into a necklace! <gasps> <laughs> you may have the tower, but you will never be able to get it back to its normal size! Maybe he's right, little gators. How am I ever going to restore the Sky Tree Tower back to normal? Use your Robo Combo Tracker. See where he went, Gus. Oh, of course. Let's see where Robo Combo stopped. This sign says Tokyo Sky Tree Tower. This is where the tower would be. He's got to be somewhere around here. Gus may have the necklace. But he doesn't have the shrink it blaster. Not for long. No, you didn't. Oh, rats. The gun was on shrink mode. Here we go. Time to restore the Sky Tree Tower to the original size. This only marks the beginning of my worldwide landmark collection. <laughs> oh no, little gators! Looks like Robo Combo is headed somewhere fast, and I've got a bad feeling about this. Hey, little gators! Robo Combo just flew away, and I'm sure he's up to no good. I was just eating sushi in Tokyo with Mama and Dad when I noticed the Sky Tree Tower disappeared. Turned out, Robo Combo used his Shrink It Blaster to shrink the tower down all for himself. Fortunately, I was able to track him down and got the tower back from him by finding a secret message on the arcade machine. I don't know what's going on. But Robo is trying to communicate with someone, and I don't think they're good guys. I was able to enlarge the tower back to normal size. Then Robo Combo flew away. Now I've got a bad feeling about this. There you are, Shug. They've been looking all over for you. We need to get going, or we'll miss our flight to Paris, France. That's right, hun. Paris is home to the Eiffel Tower. It's one of the world's most famous landmarks, and it has really bright lights that glow every hour. Wow! I didn't know that. That's so cool. Come on, Shug. Let's get going. Woohoo! We're almost there, little gators. Oh, no! What is Robo Combo doing here? It looks like he's headed for the Eiffel Tower. I knew he was up to no good. Ha-ha! I finally made it to Paris. 
Gustave will be so excited to have the Eiffel Tower for his worldwide landmark collection! Look, Shug! It's the Eiffel Tower! It looks so much bigger in person! Okay, sport! Mom and I are going to look for some matching t-shirts, so you can go ahead and explore for a bit. But don't go too far! Really? I get to go look for Robo Combo! Bye! <laughs> what was that, little gators? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Not again! Robo Combo is shrinking the Eiffel Tower this time! Finally! Gustav will be so pleased! Robo Combo! Why did you shrink the Eiffel Tower? Whoa! Gus the Gummy Gator, how did you find me here? You may have stopped my plans before, but you are too late this time! Catch me if you can! <laughs> oh, rats! You won't get away with this! <laughs> Gus the Gummy Gator is in the dust! I knew he couldn't catch me! <gasps> oh! oh, that really hurt! Now where's that tiny tower? Oh, here it is! I better get this to Gustav right away! Oh no! He got away! Huh? What's that? Wait a second! Why is this Eiffel Tower glowing and not the others? Paris is home to the Eiffel Tower! It's one of the world's most famous landmarks, and it has really bright lights that glow every hour! I remember now! Dad said the Eiffel Tower lights up once every hour! That means this must be the real Eiffel Tower! Oh, let me check what this paper says! Whoa! This looks like the checklist of landmarks Robocombo is planning on tricking! If we were already in Tokyo and we're in Paris now, that must mean Robocombo is going to Africa next! Before we get going, I'll use this trinket ray to bring the Eiffel Tower back to normal size! Woohoo, little gators! Look! The Eiffel Tower is getting huge again! Way to go, Gus! I knew you could do it! Great news, Gustav! I shrunk the Eiffel Tower, just like you asked! <laughs> Excellent! Hand it over, Robo! Hmm. Hmm? What's this? A price tag? Robo Combo, this is a souvenir, not the Eiffel Tower! Yeah! <laughs> Oops! I guess Gus beat me again. There you are, Shug! Oh, we were so worried about you! The Eiffel Tower shrunk down and then got all big again! I don't know what is going on, but we gotta get out of here! Sounds great! Can we go to Africa? I really want to see the giant pyramids! Well, our next stop on our trip is London, but I guess we can take a detour! Woohoo! Bye, little gators! Uh, I hope I get to Africa before Robocomo does! Let's pin the tail on the dinosaur! Spin? Uh, maybe. Maybe here. Did I get it? Where'd it go? Oh no, look! What is that? Dinosaurs! Ah! Are the dinosaurs still there? Oh wait, they're gone! Oh gosh! I think that's Peck! And Peck only calls when there's trouble! Peck, what is it? Oh no, Ryan, I have bad news! Huh? I accidentally teleported a bunch of dinosaurs to your house! <laughs> ah! So that's why they were dinosaurs, but how do I get rid of them, Peck? So, I'm gonna send you a device that will help them get to back home! Okay! Woohoo! A mom! use this to get rid of the dinosaurs. It might look like an ordinary mop, but all you have to do is touch them with it and boopity boop, it will teleport them back home. Okay, thanks Peck. 
I'm gonna go look for the dinosaurs and send them back. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh. Don't worry, I'm ordering us some pizza on the computer. Ooh, I wanna play Minecraft. Oh, I don't wanna wait anymore. Just hold on one moment. Who let me try? Guys, I see three giant T-Rexes. Ah, I wonder how I'm gonna get them. Wait, I have an idea. T-Rex is like meat, so I'm gonna throw a fake turkey. I'm sorry, Mr. Fake Turkey. Sure would be nice if some food just popped up, huh? Oh, I wanna... <laughs> Smells like chicken. Oh, chicken. Mm. Did you say chicken? Let me see what this chicken is here. Oh, that's not a chicken, that's a turkey. I got barbecue sauce! Yummy! That's it. Bring it on over. Someone left a chicken over here. Guys, it's working! Don't worry, Mr. Fake Turkey. I'm gonna save you. Yummy chicken! I told you it's a turkey. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Go home, T-Rex! Yay! Now, let's find more dinosaurs and put them back to their world. Mmm, leaves! Nom, nom, nom! Ah, it's a triceratops! Wait, triceratops only eat plants. Okay. My favorite! Guys, I think he's just hungry. I'm gonna feed him before we send him back to this world. Hey, boy, there's a lot, a lot more plants here. Huh? More plants? Plants, more plants, more plants. Here's all the plants you can eat. Enjoy. Whoa! Yummy plants! <laughs> yum, yum, yum! Okay, Triceratops, it's time to go home. <laughs> Yay! Let's find more dinosaurs. Guys, oh no, what is that? Cereal. Eating salad is better. Eating fish is way better than eating salads. No way. There's so many yummy salads, and they're so tasty. Salads are only good with salad dressing. <laughs> yeah! Guys, Stegosaurus and the Raptors are fighting! What do I do? Oh, yeah? <laughs> that sounds like fighting words. Everyone knows fish is the best. Oh, no! They're Love eggs. Raptors, I know you want this egg with nothing inside, but you don't know that. Huh? What's that rolling over here? Hey, look! It's a giant egg! Stegosaurus, I'll send you home, where it's probably more safer than my house. Whee! Yes, it worked! Yummy! Hey! Yay! I got those dinosaurs! And I saved an egg with nothing in it! Wait, guys, I think I hear dinosaurs that way. I think I hear some noise in the laundry room, guys. Ah! A dinosaur! Roar! Help! I'm stuck! Wait, I think he just needs help. 
Roar! Roar! Thank you, Ryan. Okay, guys, I'm gonna send him back to his world now. Okay, dinosaur, go home. Bye bye. Thank you for bringing all the dinosaurs back with me. Bye. Remember, always stay happy and bright. Up. Bye. Hey, um, I kind of need that mop back. Whenever is fine. Ryan? Ryan! Hey guys, you know how people make sprays that repel bugs? Well, I got the opposite. I got a spray that attracts bugs. See? Bug magnet. We're gonna see if it works. Bring it on, bugs! sand here. Oh, this is a good pile here. Okay, give me some sand. Give me some sand. Oh, that's not a sand! What is this, a beetle? Oh, oh, oh. Mommy? I thought I heard Mommy's voice. Mommy? Oh, there's sand. Wait, there's a beetle. Yeah. Now let's go find more bugs. Oh, I'm so tired of bugs. There are bugs everywhere. I wonder where the bugs come from. Am I right? What's that noise? Huh? What's that noise? Is it on my hair? No? Oh, butterfly. Oh, but it's a cute butterfly, but giant. It's just one butterfly bug, right? Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Wait, I feel something on the other side. What is this? Oh, oh, oh. Is this a giant ladybug? Uh, no, thank you. I'm getting out of here. Ah. Mommy? I keep not finding Mommy, but I heard her. Two bugs. Well, thanks for finding me so many bugs, Mommy. Where are the bugs? Okay, okay. No bugs around. Oh, what is this? Just what I'm looking for, bug spray. This will help get rid of the bugs. No more bugs, no more bugs, no more bugs, yay! Wait, what's that noise? I hear bugs, I hear bugs. Oh no, oh no. Oh, 
What's that noise? I hear some bug noise for sure. Super attractive bug spray. Instead of making bugs repel, it makes bugs attract. 